it's so obviously clear that Bella is going to turn into a vampire and that's what she wants. Like narrative foreshadowing everything, she's going to be a vampire. I kind of missed that when I read them as a teenager because I was just so like, I don't want her to be a vampire. Mm -hmm. And I think part of it for me, it was all the stuff that she was giving up. That was a big part of it. Um, like of her human life and it was also the idea of immortality I think I was really scared of and resistant to Mm. uh, in any narratives Um, and nowadays both on my reread of Twilight and just generally with the the concept of immortality I'm like yes please give (laughs) give me infinite life I like I want to you know see a hundred years from now as we're probably living on another planet because we've destroyed this one whatever um and i'm thinking about how for me that is probably very wrapped up in the fact that when i first read the books i was not i hadn't figured out my gender yet i was deeply depressed i could not imagine a future for myself as a woman Hmm. which for me is a very like binary gender transition thing that happened but plays into a lot of what we were talking about of this being also a metaphor metaphor for entering adulthood and that Mm -hmm. not a girl not yet a woman state of things so i think it resonated to me on the surface when i first read it in that way but in the way that i couldn't see until now was resonating in a much deeper gender way whereas now i'm like very comfortable as the man that i am and happy in my life as an adult and i'm like i mean you know maybe i wish i had gotten turned when like my knees weren't hurting as bad in my mid-30s but like (laughs) hey i'll take (laughs) immortality (laughs) that sounds great to me if i get to be a man vampire then Mm -hmm. i'm cool with it 